Hello and welcome to a very special webinar, HDFC Life Presents Life Insurance Made Simple. The past year brought a lot of challenges for the life insurance industry as a whole, presented with an unprecedented combination of growing consumer demand and economic instability. But these developments have also brought in new opportunities in their wake, especially in the form of new tech innovations and better, more flexible products to serve the changing needs of consumers. And joining us on this webinar today to discuss these changes is someone who's been spearheading this paradigm shift with HDFC Life's suite of life insurance products. Mr. Vishal Sabarwal, he is the Executive Vice President and Head of E-Commerce and Digital Marketing at HDFC Life. Mr. Sabarwal, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to HDFC Life Presents Life Insurance Made Simple webinar. Hi, how are you doing? All well, uh, and thank you, Kaizad, for having me on this platform. Uh, you know, life insurance uh, is the need of the hour in a post-COVID world. I think everyone is aware of that. And so very happy to be part of this platform to educate uh, your viewers on the subject. I'm glad to have you uh, with us uh, today, sir. Um, so, you know, we have a lot to discuss um, today. The first question. Um, so for the life insurance industry in India, the COVID-19 crisis has been all about being able to respond, recover and thrive. So how do each of these stages set course for the next one and what are the innovations required to thrive yeah uh, so you know let me just take a step back right uh, uh, you know as a company as an industry uh, life insurance is all about protection and we talk about protection in multiple uh, terms uh, you know the first one is uh, mortality related protection which is uh, you know the risk event is essentially death uh, the second one is about morbidity so if you fall sick and your health expenses you know are, are extremely high in today's day and age so you need to be adequately covered against that and the last one is what we call longevity risk that is you might outlive your savings and therefore you need to save enough so these are the three elements around which uh, you know the life insurance industry is focused on and especially uh, we at HDFC Life have been talking about this. Now what COVID-19 did was uh, uh, essentially it served like a what uh, we also call as a penny drop moment for term insurance or protection. A lot of people became aware of the need of adequate term insurance and health insurance. Uh, you know, if you look at people in the salaried segment, uh, they would typically have their corporates cover them for certain limited amounts, but obviously they felt that the need for higher health and uh, life insurance was there. And that in some sense uh, uh, translated into more and more inquiries uh, in, 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 in the immediate aftermath of COVID-19, which is almost uh, 11, 12 months back. So th that's how okay. this thing started and the transition happened. Okay, okay. So Vishal, my next question is, you know, how uh, do you think COVID-19 has changed consumer behavior, re-emphasized the need for mortality protection? I mean, of course, even, you know, there have been lots of job losses as we knew, uh, you know, uh, medical uh, emergencies that came about as COVID-19 and the lockdown uh, went about last year. So uh, how has this changed consumer behavior over the past year? Yeah. So, so, you know, if you go back and look at the research, right, why people come out and buy uh, mortality or protection oriented products is typically when they see somebody in the immediate family or the friend circle in a similar age group kind of go through a crisis. Uh, yeah. You know, it could be an accidental death or a illness related death. In, in this case, basically, it covered the entire universe, right? The entire globe True. kind of got impacted by this. So there was True. kind of a very high decibel uh, uh, you know, understanding of this issue. And obviously what happened was uh, all those people who were thinking about life insurance or health insurance at a certain point of time, they kind of accelerated their purchase. So if you look at the Google searches uh, and the inquiries which were coming to our platform or the organic traffic, people coming to our website and trying to understand the product, uh, you know, that kind of went through the roof uh, in the first two quarters of this financial year. Now, Do you also actively you know, measure all these kind of uh, statistics to uh, to judge absolutely. how the price absolutely. of interest? Oh, okay. okay. Yes, absolutely. So, so all the data is available with uh, you know okay. all the backend analytics, and okay. you can measure the uh, uh, you know traffic that is coming to your website and the quality of okay. traffic and which product page people are going on to. So uh, you know this this was quite uh, high in the first two quarters. Now, as things settled and as the anxiety over job losses kind of came down people then shift 
bit back again into the savings uh, oriented piece because uh, while there were job cuts uh, in some industries a lot of industries were also protected and people also realized the need to kind of uh, you know adopt uh, a, a, a sliver of protection while investing for the long term because they also realized that there was a need for savings uh, you know uh, uh, from a longer term perspective so while term business or uh, health insurance business continues to happen uh, the bounce back on the savings and investment side has been a bit higher in the latter half of the year which is which is kind of surprising to all of us but that is how things have shaped up and th that okay. that's how consumer behavior has shaped up let me put it that way. Yeah. Okay. so high anxiety people move towards protection uh, the moment the anxiety levels go down people start thinking a bit longer term instead of just being here and now okay okay so you know a lot of things um, uh, vishal uh, uh, a lot of things have come up in the last one year one big trend uh, that we've seen is that how people have moved online to buy various things i mean uh, the online um, uh, adaptability has been amazing uh, in the last one year right so you know uh, your htfc lives uh, ye sahi to life insurance kyu nahi campaign also represent the next step in that behavioral transformation by changing consumer perception about buying life insurance online does it not absolutely absolutely so you know we we also believe that there is a need to educate a lot of a younger demographic about the need for life insurance right so uh, you know most people end up uh, opening a savings account uh, you know as their first financial product uh, we also believe that uh, something like term insurance should be part of uh, you know your first financial plan that you do as an individual the moment you start earning uh, it's the most basic, have... plan. most basic yes, insurance the, plan most basic insurance plan absolutely absolutely and i'm talking about a term insurance plan just mortality cover risk cover no savings component uh, savings right. obviously as your income uh, increases you can start kind of uh, increasing that amount over a period of time but uh, once you kind of uh, uh, you know get into the income earning uh, bracket whether you are a self employed person or a salaried person uh, you obviously are bringing some income to your household and contributing to it right now you have to start realizing what happens if uh, uh, a risk event right uh, if you were to die for example and uh, now there is a certain concept called human life value based on the income that you are drawing today and obviously we uh, you know that income is likely to grow at least in line with inflation uh, over the next 30 40 years that you're going to work so at every stage you can kind of identify what your human life value is and buy adequate uh, uh, protection for yourself and for your loved ones okay 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 that's fair enough um so we shall going ahead um you know uh, how if some of your new products like for example and especially i'm talking about hdfc life click to protect life plan been specifically designed to cater to the changing needs of uh, customers wanting you know to protect their families against you said mortality morbidity longevity risks that you spoke about at the beginning right yeah so so uh, you know uh, we had the series called click to protect as our online term umbrella brand and this okay. product has continued to evolve over a period of time so there are two ways uh, we kind of try and educate customers one is obviously through the marketing campaigns uh, that you kind of referred to ye sahi to life insurance online cleaning uh, you know what we are trying to do here is especially get the younger demographic to understand that uh, if they can uh, you know do their daily transactions be it grocery shopping you know ordering a cab uh, you know ordering medicines booking a holiday online Uh, why not purchase uh, life insurance online? And the click to protect uh, life is our flagship product in this category. Okay. And the way uh, you know we're trying to ensure that the three risks are covered. So we have the plain vanilla version called click to protect life. So if you just want wish to cover uh, yourself, uh, you know, for term a uh, pure term insurance, uh, uh, you know, and uh, this variant is available. Uh, you can decide the age till which you want and the amount uh, of cover you want. uh you can have a whole life variant or you can buy it in 60 years 45 years whatever uh, age uh, or period you deem right right based on your requirements uh we have a second variant called uh, uh you know uh income uh, the it's the click to protect uh, life income variant uh now here you get a very high cover till you're 60 years old and after uh, you turn 60 you essentially start drawing down a certain percentage of the risk cover as monthly income or as annual income so this serves uh, as a 
you know some sort of a pension plan uh, for you and this helps you cover the longevity risks because you know uh, once you turn 60 uh, you know the assumption here is that uh, you would have cleared off all your liabilities like your home loans uh, uh, or your kids would have got educated and got into the working uh, demography so you may not need such a high amount of life insurance and you can start drawing down some amount as uh, a regular uh, you know pension in some in some sense is how i would term it and we also have a third variant uh, where you can kind of uh, keep rebalancing uh, between the critical illness cover and the life cover now what happens is as you age you know uh, okay at a younger age uh, uh, you know uh, death by accidents and stuff like that is more likely to happen as you age uh, you know the, there's a higher likelihood of an individual kind of uh, dying due to a critical illness uh, right so this product essentially you can keep on rebalancing your critical illness cover and your life cover in a single variant uh, this product is going to be available very soon on our platform as well this particular so what variant. do you mean by so what do you mean by you can uh, you can alter the variant like uh, if i have a policy after 10 years if i decide to uh, apportion a higher proportion of my sum assured for a critical illness i can do that in my existing policy yeah. itself in this particular variant if you choose the life plus critical okay. illness rebalancing variant Uh, mm. then you can do that so this covers the morbidity risk along with the mor- mortality risk so okay. uh, you know we are looking at click to protect life as a vehicle for protection uh, for all three risks mortality morbidity and okay. that that's how it's different from uh, okay. other plans in the market yeah. okay vishal i think um, let's uh, turn our attention to some of the audience questions that uh, we have been getting and um, first up um, uh, is a question from ashish pandari he wants to know how do we know whether our sum assured is enough to cover the liabilities and other contingencies i mean is there a formula that we can apply according to our lifestyle current income family structure sure yeah so a uh, uh, very valid question from ashish ke sath uh, you know the way i look at it is there is a concept called as human life value right so you know if you are starting to earn at a particular age you obviously have to figure out uh, you know based on your salary increase or you know how your earnings increase from business so if you are a self employed how much money you are likely to make uh, over a span of time now let's say you are 25 years old and you plan to work till 60 65 right now let's say you are earning 10 lakh rupees today now uh, you know probably as a multiple you need anywhere between uh, let's say 25 to 30 times that income as uh, a human life value right and i'm assuming that uh, you know the mortality risk is going to happen immediately right because uh, 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 right now as you grow older right your working span actually is going down let's say now a 40 year old guy comes to me and he plans to retire at uh, 60 that individual is only going to work for another 20 years right right, right? so therefore the human life value uh, to that individual's family is lower than that of a 25 year old obviously his income might be higher uh, let's say if you are earning 10 lakhs uh, when you were 25 years old maybe you are earning 30 lakhs uh, you know by the time you are 40 but uh, uh, the multiple that you need for human life value will go down right so if it was 25 to 30 times uh, for a younger uh, individual it will probably come down to 15 to 20 times if you are in uh, your you know 30 in the 40 uh, age bracket the older you go the lower the multiple of your income so that's how you look at it obviously look at your responsibilities uh, and as a customer you can decide whether you want to cover uh, whole life right so a lot of people prefer whole life covers which essentially means that you know your nominee will be guaranteed the claim uh, you know which is whole life is essentially about 100 years a lot of people opt for a milestone called 85 Okay. Uh, the average age in india is about 72 urban might be a, a bit higher so people assume that there's a 99.5% or a slightly higher chance of getting the claim so a lot of people buy till 85 then there are other individuals who buy till their working age because they believe okay by the time i turn 60 or 65 i don't need an insurance cover beyond they that they would have so had enough savings by then they would have had enough savings and their liabilities you know it, home loans car yeah. loan its education everything is set so, so you can make an intelligent choice based on uh your requirements but uh, figure out the human life value okay. and these calculators are available on our website uh, okay so it's easier for people to um, you know go through your go through their calculations input all the various variables 
pertain to their own individual lifestyle mm-hmm. assessment and then decide how much cover they want yes absolutely our next question is from anisha um, and she wants to know you know uh, how do we understand how much one needs to be uh, one one uh, how do you evaluate how much some assured you need i think you have answered uh, that question um, also what she wants to understand apart from that is that um, um how do you revisit it like suppose if and it's a very valid question because you know as you go ahead in life uh, you might take on more liabilities your lifestyles might change so is it possible for you to go for an upgrade vishal in an existing life cover uh so okay uh, you know there are some products out there uh, where you can kind of keep topping up uh, at a certain percentage every year uh, but i think the better way to do it is to link it to your life stages uh okay. so the younger you buy obviously the cheaper the product works out for you yeah uh so you know the first uh, stage i would look at is you know once you enter the job market or once you start working so ensure that uh, you buy uh, a term insurance cover at that stage i think the second stage that most people uh, look at is uh, you know when they get married or when they have their first child uh that okay. is the stage when people start reevaluating because uh, you know uh, in a in a very tangible manner your lifestyle is going to change uh, you know you need to kind of save a bit more uh, you might need a bigger house and therefore your liabilities are going to go up so that is the second stage uh, at which uh, most people decide and people who miss buying term insurance in these two milestones then come back uh, at a slightly later stage okay okay yeah. so uh, first okay. job and uh, child or marriage yeah. that's how i will look at so it so milestones so you're saying take a look at different uh, milestones and yes. then you assess yes. yes okay vishal thank you so much vishal uh, that's all the time that we have uh, for this very special webinar hdfc life presents life insurance made simple and um, i would like to thank our guest uh, vishal sabarwal who is the executive vice president and head of e-commerce and digital marketing at uh, hdfc life thank you so much vishal for joining us today Yeah, thank you, Kajal, and thank you to the entire team at your end for putting this together. And uh, thanks to everyone for the questions that you asked. Hopefully, it was very helpful for everyone. Yes, it was most helpful, and it's something that uh, we at Network Eighteen also has been trying to educate our readers on the need to have the need to be insured and need to have adequate insurance. It's not just insurance, but adequate insurance. Thank you. So, thank you so much, Vishal. Uh, insurance in india is beginning a new phase of growth and with and consumers and insurers have to look forward to so with great digital innovations with more flexible products insurers like hdfc life are serving the needs of an ever growing consumer base you can be rest assured and we will be keeping a close eye on these developments as they happen until then goodbye